Another question that raised many questions was actually the plasmid mapping. So let's say you have a circular plasmid and you know that uh, there are three eco ri restriction sites. And if we digest uh, this plasmid with the eco ri we will receive three fragments. One, two, three. Let's say first one will be um, a thousand base pairs long. Second one, 1,500 base pairs. And the third one will be 3,000 base pairs. And this means uh, our total uh, length of this um, plasmid will be zero zero five uh, five five thousand five hundred base pairs and if you are asked to uh, define the restriction sites uh, the easiest way is to take one of these uh, restriction sites as a zero point which means um, the first restriction site will be zero, the second restriction site will be a thousand away from it, so it's thousand, and finally the third restriction site will be another one and a half thousands away from it, and it will be two, two and a half thousands. Okay, so um, if we go backwards, so let's say we know the restriction sites and the total lengths. So the total lengths will be 4,000 base pairs. And the first restriction site will be 80. Second restriction site will be uh, 100 and uh, 1,500 and the third one will be 3,000 base pairs. One, two, three, eighty, uh, one and a half thousand and three thousand. So to to find the fragments which which are one, two and three we just need to do simple subtraction. So first will be one and a half thousand minus 80, and it is uh, one, four, two, zero base pairs long. Second will be 3000 minus 1500, and it is 1500 base pairs and the third one will be total minus 3000 plus first one 80 and it is 1080 base pairs to find out if uh, we found the right uh, lengths we need to sum up everything, and it will be uh, 1,420 1, plus uh, 1,500 plus 1,080 base pairs. And it is actually 4,000 base pairs. So this is how you find uh, the lengths of the fragments if you are provided with the restriction sites. So that was easy. Let's imagine another uh, plasmid and there will be three, uh, three restriction sites for eco array. And two for hint, uh, hint three. 
So when we digest with the eco array, we will have uh, the same uh, thousand base pairs long, one and a half thousand base pair long, and a three will be uh, three thousand base pair long fragments, while your hin digested fragment will be um, 2,000 base pairs and the other one will be 3,500 base pairs. So let's say that we digest them at the same time and uh, the first fragment will be 1,000 base pairs, uh, second will be 500 base pairs and the third a thousand again the next one will be two thousand base pairs and the last one a thousand again so let's calculate the total amount it's thousand 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 three thousand five a thousand and five thousand and five hundred from here we again determine the um, initial point and it will be zero. So the second uh, second point will be restriction side will be thousand base pairs away from it. Third one mm, another five hundred so it's 1,500 base pairs. The fourth one will be a thousand. So that was one, two, three. So uh, the fourth restriction site will be uh, a thousand base pairs away from the third one. So it's two thousand five hundred base pairs, and the last this restriction site will be 2,000 base pairs away from the fourth point and it is 4,500 base pairs. Now we defined the eco array, again eco array, hint 3, eco array and hint 3. Uh, so this is uh, how you do the plasmid mapping.